Hi, what I'm going to show you in this video is how woodcut reduction is created. What I'll be using is a piece of wood, it's blank right now, but in the end it'll be carved out. And what I will use is a V-gouge. Now if this was a canvas, this would be my paintbrush. In the end, this will be all carved out. In the end, this board will look like this. And this is the piece I'm going to show you how I do this. So originally it looked like this, and then I carved it away and you can just see that there's only very little left of the board. First color. That's the first color. This is the second color. You can see by two marks there. That's how I mark it to show that it's my second color. And I don't know if you can see the lines. It's very light. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. But that's what I carved away and that's what's not printing. The second color is printing on everything else. And I don't know if you can see it there or not. But that's my second color. Third color. And on this third color, you can see it a little better than the second color that the areas I cut away are starting to show up a little better with the darker color behind it. This is my fourth color with the reduction print. That's the fourth color. Let's see if we can show you what it looks like right before I print it. That's what it looks like before I put the more orange color down. And I will print this one with this color now so this, this one will look like this when I'm finished. This is the fifth color of the reduction print. That's the fifth color. And this is the fourth color, what it looks like, I don't know if we can see it here, before it was printed. This is the sixth color. And that is the sixth color. Seventh color. That's the 
the seventh. That's the seventh color. This is the eighth color of the reduction print. And that's the eighth color. And I don't know if you can see this. But that's what it looked like on the seventh color. Ninth color of the reduction. And there it is. And I don't know how well you can see it, but there is a very slight variation between the last color and this color. Tenth color. Final color of the woodcut reduction. I'm using blue. What I'm going to do here is take the blue from the palette, put it on my roller. Now I'm going to transfer the blue from the roller to my wood block. Now I take the wood block over to the press to show you how I register it. All right, for my registration, what I do is I put some marks on the board, front and back, and I have three on the front, and I line them up. I don't know if you can see them that well, but there's one, two, three there, and then there's two in the back, and I line up, and also right before I print it, I will add one more mark to tell me how many colors I've put on this piece of paper. This will be my 11th color and it is my final color. And Now I will run it through the press to transfer the ink from the block to my paper. Final color of the woodcut reduction. You can see the blue areas, that's the final color, and that's the only area that printed because everything else has been carved away. And I'll show you what it looked like before I printed it. This is what it looked like before I printed the blue. This is what it looks like when it's done. And that's a woodcut reduction. Okay, I brought it outside because I don't know if you could see the color differences inside with the lighting in there. But here you can see there's a much darker blue here. And then here you can see it's just all the reds. That's the final color. This is before I printed it. This is what it looks like when it's complete. Hi, I hope you enjoyed seeing how a woodcut reduction is created. And if you have any questions about how I do it, just email me at the address that just popped up at the bottom of the screen. Thank you.